All right, here in Shepparton, Victoria. Just had the weekend in Rotorua, New Zealand. Basically headed over there as a bit of a halfway point race between the last World Cup that I did, which is in Argentina in September, and basically the World Cup that's gonna be here in February. I just wanted to get a race in, so I kind of stayed in that racing groove, so did that. Um, actually was racing really well all day, but just in the final, made a dumb mistake. Um, moved out wide into the second corner, anticipating someone to try to high-low me, but uh, instead, Jukia Yoshimura from Japan kind of just shot straight up the inside and, and passed me up the inside. So it's a bit of a bummer. I ended up second, but it was still, you know, really good in terms of my race performance. Still some Olympic points for Australia. Um, no injuries. So a good result overall. And now here in Shepparton, I flew straight to Melbourne from Auckland, drove up, and then getting some training in here in Shepparton. Basically just trying to learn everything that there is uh, about the track. Uh, basically every every year we go overseas to other people's home tracks like the Dutch at Papendal, the French at Paris, the US riders at Rock Hill, racing in front of uh, their home crowds on their home tracks. So for me it's just making sure that I'm capitalizing on these home world cuts that we finally got in Australia, making sure that I know everything there is to know about the track. Um, and then making sure that Australians are the ones to beat in, in Australia at the World Cup. It's Wednesday today, so we're in Shepparton all last week until Saturday just been. Um, and just during gym session last Friday at Shepparton, I just tweaked, just tweaked my hip here. It was really weird. Just halfway through the gym session, just started to get really sore. I think it's probably just an overload of work for that week. A lot of track sessions obviously backed up by the travel to New Zealand. So. Um, yeah, I think my body was just fatigued. Um, but I guess one thing that I've been trying to learn in, in these kind of situations is, is not to dwell on what happened. Like to, for me, I controlled everything that I could. My training was, you know, my form was good. I stretched, you know, I'm looking after myself, doing all that. And this still happened to happen. Okay. I think the old me would have really kind of dwelled on the situation. Like, oh my God, this sucks now I'm missing gym session and a sprint session I have to change this and that and it sucks but yeah like I think I'm learning more and more that like I said in a, a couple of videos ago that this this stuff happens for everyone and the quicker you can say okay that's done can't do anything about it not what I wanted but it's happened how am I gonna best deal with this situation the quicker you can make that switch which is what I'm still learning to do um, I think the better and I think that applies to not only what we're doing holistically but it's the same thing on race day. Like, all right, someone took you out in motor one. Is that gonna ruin your whole day of racing? Or are you gonna be able to flick from that and go, okay, how can I make it better from here to make sure I still have a good outcome? So um, something that I've learned over the years, still working on it, but today it was great. It doesn't feel too bad. I had a few days off at, earlier on this week um, and I'm just about slowly getting back into it again. So stoked. So basically just chill out, dude. Yeah, basically chill out. <laughs>